uh, it's really easy to get started putting ad mob adverts on a unity android project i'll just go through this quickly um, so you've got a blank project i've created mine in 2d uh, that doesn't matter you've got the latest version of android which at the moment is 2.5.1 is it or 2.5.3 or something um, so you've got a bl blank project set up uh, you want to go to the google ads uh, mobile Android plugins github page I'll put this link into the description of the video download uh, go to the download section click releases uh, click the latest unity package which is 2.1 uh, today but oh, okay this is Internet Explorer for you taking ages um, <laughs> Why is it taking so long? So you click this. Ah, yeah, sorry, I'm not used to using Internet Explorer. You want to open this uh, or save it and then double click it or whatever so that it, de it, it decompresses it uh, and you get the import package dialog in Unity. There'll be two directories in here, import them both. It'll just take a second, and then in your assets you should, you should see the two directories Google, Mobile, and Plugins. Now, this isn't complete. Uh, in, in your you need Plugins and Android folder, we need to put um, the Google Play Services Library. Now, to get this, you want to go into Windows Explorer or Finder if you're on a Mac and look for uh, wherever you installed. Uh, Unity 2, uh, not Unity, sorry, Android SDK 2. So mine's on the des desktop and I've got this uh, Eclipse and SDK bundle. If you look for the SDK manager uh, and you open it, well you, you run it, you get this uh, list of all the different packages and whether they're installed or not. If you scroll to the bottom you want to look for Google Play Services, so I've just ticked that, and the Google AdMob Ads SDK. Now mine are already installed, so I can't install them again. But you can just, um, if yours aren't installed, you can press this and agree to the terms and conditions and install it. Uh, so once you've done that, go to the SDK and you're looking in Extras and in Google, and now you should have this directory Google Play Services. Now in there and in Lib Project you should find this directory Google Play Services Lib and that's the one you need to drag into your project uh, so if I copy this and then back in Unity uh, open show in Explorer I can just paste it into this Android directory so what I'm doing is copying from the Google uh, Android SDK the Google Play Services into my Unity project. So that's Google Play Services lib, not Google Play Services, a few directories up. So now if I switch back to Unity, it will say hold on and import these assets. And then this plugin's set up and ready to go. Uh, what you want to probably want to do is run an example of it working. So to do this, if you head back to the Google Play, that the Google Ads mobile plugins, uh, go back to the project. Uh, there is actually an example in here, so I'll download this whole project as a zip for now. Uh, this is IE again, so I'm just going to open this uh, and extract it somewhere, anywhere in my documents so I've downloaded this project extracted it and in inside the directory that is extracted inside Unity inside samples you've got this hello world uh, directory so if I can copy this into Unity again I'll do the same that I did last time which was right click show in Explorer and then in the assets directory this time 
I'll copy these two hello world assets so the main scene and the add demo script copy paste uh, unity will import these when I get there we go <coughs> so now sorry we've got in, in unity we've got these two directories that came with the plugin we, we've got the Google Play services lib and we've got a scene and a script so if I open the scene it doesn't look like it's done anything but it has uh, changed this main camera because now we've got a script attached to it but the script is missing so we'll just copy the script over because that's the script that's meant to be attached uh, so now to just give you an idea what this script is doing it is, if I press play uh, giving you a bunch of buttons that when you press will do add mob things like request a banner or show a banner you get the idea but before that will work we need to edit this Google mobile script so I'll double click that so it opens in mono develop there we go and there's two things we need to edit in the request banner um, function on line 73 we've got a string that says insert android banner add id unit here now this is an add mob id for a banner ad and on line 98 you need to put uh, another add mob id for the, those larger ads. I won't go through how to create add mob banner IDs, it's quite easy. Um, there's loads of, every other single tutorial seems to go through that, so uh, I won't bother. Now, if you press play, it still won't work because this only works on your mobile device. So, um, also, if you have it set up in editor, the Unity remote set up to an Android device, it, it also won't work. You need to build and run it on your Android device. So in your build settings make sure it's an Android project in your player settings make sure the bundle identifier has something that's not um, not the default so at com dot your domain dot product whatever your product is um, and then press build and run and then that will oh well make sure you plug your phone in first and then press build and run so if your phone's connected to your computer by USB you will then get that menu, uh, press request banner, banner will appear at the top. Uh, I don't know, request banner, nothing will happen, but it will get the banner from the add mob um, API. Show banner will then show the banner, hide banner, will hide it, destroy it, will get rid of the banner that you requested. Uh, the same for the larger ads. Uh, and then it's quite simple to just integrate that into your own app by copying and pasting the examples in the script and that's it really uh, if you get stuck if you open a command prompt and head to uh, wherever your <coughs> your desktop wherever your Android SDK is installed uh, and then go to the SDK slash platform tools um, directory there's a a program called ADT is that right? ADB and then just type ADB shell uh, if your phone's in installed it'll connect to your phone, mine's not in I mean if your phone's connected it'll connect to your phone, mine's not connected and then use catalog or logcat, I always forget which way around it is and that'll display all the errors on your phone so try doing this on your phone with catalog all log cat <laughs> running and it will tell you why it's not working if it's not working but it should work it's quite simple and um, that's it really